confronting enemies of the house as the esteemed arch militant and taking into consideration Edelthrad's psycho powers. Okie dokie, let's go. Then it's settled. Did, was she... Find Edelthrad and bring him here. In whatever okay. state you find him. This elevator leads to restricted compartments such as my personal chambers and the bridge. Do not let me down. I require you both. Do you understand? I hear and obey, Lord Captain. Then move out. Mort, come. Wait. Are you ready to head to 18? It is a long walk, and you do not even have proper gear. As fraught with risk, I shall make do. Lead the way. Of course you will. Lady Theodora would never have someone she couldn't rely on as one of her heirs. But that is no longer relevant. He's the one that's been doing this, isn't he? He's the traitor. Yep. Soon as he said that, soon as he said that, I knew it. He's oh so mad, isn't he? Oh so mad. So I'm not the heir anymore. I'm so mad. I'm gonna betray the emperor. I guess. I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy watching you scream for mercy. He just slapped careful, me. Careful, careful. Be gentle with our guest. She has an important mission to complete during our visit to the Warren Chamber, and for that, I need her breathing. Oh, you are back with us, I see. Delightful. Two-faced scum, you're behind this mayhem. How perceptive of you. I'll help you with the next insight. I need you here for your blood. You have the option to share it voluntarily. Or I will squeeze it out of you myself. We are in the anteroom of the Warren Chamber, this void ship's most hallowed vault. There, beyond those gates, lies the relic that gives Theodora all of her power. The sacred Warren of Trade. Only one obstacle remains on my path to obtaining it. The gates of the chamber are guarded by the Sentinel, an ancient device. That will only open the door to a true heir of the dynasty. Now, I expected to do this part myself, but never mind. You will offer your blood to the Sentinel. Uh, do, 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 do. I can't save? Oh, come on, man. Oh, was it F5 as quick save? Okay. Why are you doing this? Why? Because I am following an order. What is happening on this ship right now has been in the making for a very long time. All that remains is to obtain what my master sent me for. The warrant of trade. So if... So if the ship were to be destroyed, the warrant of trade is just gone, right? What is it, inbred? Is your blood too thin? On the contrary, the warp's blessing has raised me too much above your warps. Mind, Fon Valencius. The Sentinel refused to submit to me. But you can help. After all, isn't that what family is for? 
coercion succeed. What sorry, pathetic excuse do you even have for your apostasy? You sordid, wretched piece of grok shit. Wretched. What do you know about wretchedness, Theodorus Kerr? Are you hoping to buy a grain of her indulgence with your blind loyalty? Oh, I know this delusion. But thank the gods it no longer has power over me. Humanity can rot. I no longer serve mortal kind. Once my work is done, I'll make that pompous wrench Von Valencius watch as I sacrifice her entire dynasty and commit their fate to the gods. And you will be the instrument by which I will accomplish this righteous act. The blade flashes in the dim light, and drops of blood appear on your palm. For a brief moment, you feel nauseous. Your head is spinning, and quiet whispers flood your mind. More and more, sourceless voices echo each other, drowning out your own thoughts, replacing them with singular urge. Go to the gates. Go to the gates. I am not your puppet! The voices in your head giggle and mock your desperate outcry. Outcry. Quiet cry. You feel the intruding influence. Forcing you to turn to your feet and making you take a step toward the gates looming in the center of the chamber. So I'm assuming using my psychic powers wouldn't have worked on him or something? Skill tests and dialogues. One of the available dialogue options requires a skill test. Unlike the passive tests, which are made automatically in this case, you can decide on whether or not to select the option. The consequence of which will depend on the result of the associated test. Success. My tech use is 45. Okay, however your cursor over the thing. All right, I gotta go pee, I'll be right back. We'll take a long. Blah, blah, blah. Stand by.
All right, sorry about that. Mm. Had to go check out my son, too. For some reason, I had it in my head that something was wrong. I don't know why. All right, so. Okay, so got it. All right, so if the tech use is 75, it says chance is 100%. Because the difficulty modifier is 75. Okay, so that means... So it doesn't... That's weird. In the gateway arch, you see a cogitator with a human likeness built into the front panel. As you approach, the torso twitches slightly. This is a servitor, an obedient automaton created from a lobotomized human being. The sentinel turns its head to you. One of its eye sockets lighting up with two ember-like irises. Examine the device. Tech you succeeded. I'm assuming this is just for the tutorial, so. Yeah, 120%. You carefully inspect the design of the gate cogitator. What immediately catches your eye is the strange alloy that was used as a material for the machine's components, some of which is unfamiliar to you. You suspect this might be some kind of Archaeotech relic. relic. Continue. The servitor on the gate begins to move. With the screeching and groaning of metal, it leans forward, closer to you. Its lower jaw opens with a drawn-out shriek, much wider than the jaw of a living human could. The servitor's mouth is filled with a sharp, metallic fangs that glint in the dim light. The void screen to the light writes up, lights up, showing strings of mysterious symbols on a green background. A whisper... Huh. I wonder if I'd try to use my warp powers if that would have worked the same way. Runs through your conscience, insisting, demanding sacrifice. The voices that filled in your head after... Voktavir wounded you with his blade did not go away. On the contrary, their source coiled itself into a tight knot somewhere into the depths of your mind. Examine the Sentinel. Servitor looks noticeably different from the ones you're used to. Its skin covering its... Its skin covering it stitched together with copper thread, and its metal hinges in place of standard joints. Seems that the creators of the Sentinel did everything to ensure that, that the service life of this unit would be much longer than ordinary automatons. Look for anything that could be used as a weapon. You look around in hopes of finding at least something that could work as a weapon. You search in vain. The chamber anteroom is completely empty, empty, and in perfect working condition. Nary a broken panel or a protruding piece of rebar in sight. Place your hand in the Sentinel's maw. The Sentinel's jaw clamps on your hand, puncturing your skin and sinking into your flesh. A few dark drops fall into the servitor's throat and immediately hear a humming of servo motors start and the pumps stir into motion. The vid screen on the cogitator flickers. Several long minutes passed and the servitor's jaws remain closed. You are beginning to feel sick. Perhaps you, perhaps if you were to lean against the gate, you could catch your breath. Maybe even close your eyes and pretend none of this ever happened. High levels of caustic humors. The subject is in a state of heightened stress. Do you require assistance? You do not understand where this quiet voice is coming from, crackling like the static. Is it the sentinel? The cogitator? Is it a figment of your wary mind? Whichever it is, you clearly hear every word. Yes, I do require assistance. Pain shoots through your entire head and subsides quickly. It would seem the entity coiled into your consciousness does not have the ability to do you any real harm. Request accepted. Initiating defense protocol. Oh, fuck yeah. Let's go, baby. Die, traitor scum! Your heresy shall not save you. There is still another way. <laughs> Check the warrant chamber, okay? Enormous gates match the importance of the thing they protect. Massive doors are made of heavy metal, look impregnable. What is this? Old injury. Can be healed with a med kit, but requires Pasca Medicaid skill to reduce the character's resolve and cause traumas. Okay. 
duration permanence. Holy shit, for real? It's that big? That's kind of ridiculous, isn't it? To be the paragon of humanity, unbroken by adversary, to walk bravely first into the darkness, to unite and reclaim what was lost, to triumph over nightmares untold, to bold, hold boldly the reins of fate, walk steadily and... Man, why do they do this shit? Escort the child of the house to safety. What madness is happening? Who are you? Who addresses me? Temporary obnubilation following acute stress. Mobile unit of the Warren Sentinel standing by. Are you the Warren Sentinel? Mobile unit of the Warren Sentinel designed as a personal escort of the child of the house and a means of communicating with the rogue trader's subjects. Mobile unit standing by. I need to contact someone. Theodora. Fox cast frequencies disrupted. Initiating setup. Establishing connection. Spokesmaster, restore communication with the navigator's sanctum. I'm trying to contact the bridge. If anyone can hear me on this frequency, regroup all available forces and head to the upper decks at once. I repeat, regroup all available forces and head... Communication protocols breached. Signal latency assessment unavailable. Unable to establish two-way connection. I need a weapon. I am utterly defenseless. Distance from the current location to the nearest arsenal. Initiating situational calculations. Lead me from here. Middle and upper decks. Assuming the probability of safe placement in areas of concentration of armed units, Calculating. To prevent unauthorized units from breaching the warrant chamber, preemptive sealing must be initiated. The Got it. You will see notifications at the top of the screen. Journal entries, we've already, we've already had to do that. Know your duty. It's, it's, it's ridiculous that it's such a big piece of paper. You know what I mean? Look at that. A rolling scroll. That's just so funny. Yeah. Okay. So... Journal. Seal the war. No one must reach the war. A simple order with Sentinel Cautious Data will lock the chamber. Okay, cool. Mistress? What? Whatever are you doing in the Warren Chamber? How did you. Throne, preserve me. What is the meaning of this? Okay, I'm reading all the little subtext. It doesn't say any of that. Kernrad von Vochtvier is a traitor. When we part ways on the officer's deck, he stunned me somehow and brought me here. What? He intended to take revenge on Theodora for something. And trying to reach the war with some upper... He is clearly serving the unholy gods of the warp. Serving the gods of the warp? Kunrad is a heretic. Oh, oh Voidfear, you void rat. <sighs> Madness. And this mutiny is likewise his doing, no doubt. Right. 
Voidfear openly admitted that he is the mastermind behind the mutiny. Saints, blood! Then it is small wonder that the heretics are so well organized. I thought his order to seal the passages between decks was his attempt to stop the attackers from spreading to other levels. But now I see the real reason. It was to stop the enforcers from intervening. <sighs> At least you are alive and now safe, mistress. Alas, I doubt we can afford to look for a compartment to sit out this disaster. Hmm. You're in a bad way. I can treat your wounds. I have a Medicaid kit with me. And... For the love of the throne, now is not a good time to be walking around the decks without means of self-defense. Here. Oh, nice. Wait. Okay, except Albert's aid. Okay, when fighting, your character can lose some of their wounds. Your character has suffered an injury after being attacked. This happens when your character receives damage that exceeds 50% of their maximum wounds within one round. Sinister character, blah, 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 blah. Okay. And once the character combat is over, all wounds for our member are replenished automatically, but injuries may have sustained remain. These can be healed with the medikits. Medikits can be used by characters who have field medic feature based skill medica. Okay. What advice do you seek? Okay, next. We are the spearhead of the Imperium. We now have a pod. Ooh, he's got a freaking chainsaw. Look at that. Cleave? Whoa, that's cool. Nice. Wait, what? Must not have features? Okay. I'm not sure what that means, but sure. Let me help. With you at my side, victory is within our grasp. Blessed as von Valencius bloodline. Okay, weapons. Excellent. There we go. You switch between party members using the arrows at the top of the inventory. Okay. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Well, I mean, I should probably. That is a noticeable improvement. Now you're prepared for the trials ahead. The lower decks are teeming with heretics, instigating the rabble to revolt. But that is the least of our problems. The ship's enforcers are rounding up the scoundrels and suppressing the resistance. The situation on the middle decks is much worse, although strike teams have already been dispatched there. All communication with the bridge and the engineering bay was lost. So, apart from scattered voxcasts, we have no information to go on. But that is not the worst of it all. All these jolts and shaking are most alarming. These are signs that the Navigator and the Master Helmsman are having difficulty translating the ship out of the warp and into real space. I fear that they may have already lost control. We must reach the Navigator's Sanctum and get a handle on the situation. If and what exactly that, has gone wrong? Some oh, of all this sorry. vessel may yet survive. And what exactly has gone wrong? I am no Helmsman. Oh, God Emperor, preserve me, Navigator. However... I've spent my entire life aboard void ships equipped with warp drives, Dude. and I know that portents such as these do not bode well. It could be that the Gellerfield has faltered. Perhaps the Navigator was struck down by warp corruption and is fighting for the last shreds of his humanity as we speak. But why did he need? Why would he need the warrant if that were the case? That we would all be lost to the warp anyway. If we get thrown off course, we will be forever of course, that's lost in the warp. Naturally, we would likely not have long to live in that scenario. But I will not resign myself to such an outcome just yet. How did you find me? You sent me a Vox message. Specifically, a Vox cast on the officer's frequency, which I had the good fortune to receive. You mean to say you did no such thing?
My wife brought me some more coffee. Yeah, sorry, I'm uh, I'm, I'm fidgeting with my finger. I injured it a few years back when I was uh, still working. And uh, because of it, it's got like, just like uh, my other injury that's, that's disabled me, it, uh, some of the skin doesn't quite, didn't quite heal properly on, on the nerves. And so sometimes it itches, um, but I can't really feel it because it itches like under the skin. And so I have to just consistently scratch it. I use my beard because, you know, shaved, shaved face is real rough. Yeah, so that's, that's what's going on there. That's why I'm like grinding it against my face. Um, I think the Warrant Sentinel may have sent that message. It appeared when I opened the chamber. Warrant Sentinel? <laughs> Lord Captain barely ever ventures down to the chamber, and I was at her side only once or twice when she did. And I did not see anything of the sort. Hmm. The Warren Chamber is an ancient and rather sacred mechanism that the ship's tech priests treat with the utmost reverence. I assume that whatever it is that you did, you must have activated certain processes and caused the Sentinel to awaken. But then, why did none of it happen when Lady Theodora did the same? Hmm. I heard one of her vox casts. Lady Theodorus. Which one? The last one I received was about the Navigator's Sanctum, and that was a good while ago. In any case, let us hope that the Lord Captain is well, and safely in charge of the ship's defense. In the meantime, we must do all we can to prevent the ship from veering off course. What can we find in the Navigator's Sanctum? During warp transit, the Sanctum is closed to all who are not involved in traversing the Empyrean. And for good reason. For the Navigator to open their third eye and perceive the way, the Sanctum must be bathed in the energies of the Immaterium. Only a Navigator can withstand such an ordeal. For the rest of us, any contact with the Warp is fraught with perils such as loss of sanity, spontaneous mutations, and death. What an interesting lore dump. <laughs> Does not bat an eye as he lists all the horrors you are about to face. Uh, for the Imperium and humanity, lead the way, Seneschal. Cut. Oops, I'm sorry. The Lord Captain is calling her crew to battle, which means the Vox networks are set up for broadcast transmission, not message exchange. Splendid. While the rogue trader inspires proper resolve to fight in her subjects, you and I shall prove that her trust in us is well deserved. Onward. Let's go, baby. Uh, I am but a faithful herald of the righteous wrath. Combat begins with tactical phase, during which characters cannot attack or take other actions. Mm, during the tactical phase, each character of the party may move up to maximum movement points, but cannot position themselves adjacent to an enemy. Okay. Uh, shit. Okay, here we go. Abilities. The combat abilities of a character differ depending on the archetype. Available abilities are located at the bottom right. Okay. Okay, so I'm going first. It didn't let me put on my armor. How dumb is that? As soon as I equip the weapon, yeah. That sucks. All right, whatever. Um... What does this do? Pistol burst. First creature for every shot within a 12 cell cone. Wait, what? It only hits the first creature?
Okay. Now let's go here. Okay. We're gonna... We're gonna buff. Then we're gonna buff. That's a chance to hit, right? And so shall it be done. And we missed both of them. Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. Well, we tried. Okay. You have a new companion as a warrior, specializes in melee combat and drawing enemy attacks. Charge is a unique ability. Works only when you are using a melee weapon. It's not considered an attack action. Use charge to close distance. Charge can be used to carry super star. Okay, next. Uh, using melee weapon, melee attacks. Use like single Unlike single shots, melee attacks automatically hit with no need for a roll. The enemy can try to dodge or parry the attack if they are using a melee weapon of their own. Melee weapons can use to make area of attacks. All creatures. Okay. All right. Um... So, so that uses all. Oh, wow. If you attack, it uses all your movement. What is this? For one round, the Navy officer and their allies in a three cell gain two deflection for each archetype by the Navy officer. They also cannot be forcefully moved or over penetrated. Cost zero AP. Cooldown once per combat. All right, we're going to do this. Going to move here. And then we're going to do that. Okay. Thanks, game. Oh, shit. That looked like it hurt. I nice. Do my duty. Boom! Ch -ch 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 triple kill. <laughs> Very nice, good sir. Very nice. All right, he's all out. That's three down, four to go. The ruinous powers. <laughs> Zero damage. Burst attacks in area. Oh, shit. Damn, 30%, 30%. What are you doing? Uh, can I get both of us? No. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to move to about right here. Okay. Then we're going to go Word of the Emperor, Skadoosh. Okay. Uh Okay, so I can't do it to him again, that's right. All right. Oh. oh, did it hurt, Actions bitch? Will speak louder than words. I think it hurt. Buddy. Hey there, buddy. So, Indeed. skadoosh. Get wrecked. Damn, son. 
That looked like that hurt. Did it hurt? I think it hurt. I think it hurt. Oh no! How dare you! Yeah, we're gonna go full on movement. Uh, I let's go here. The chosen weapon that will crush the heathens. Your character can only move around the battlefield before you take an action. Once a character attacks, they lose remaining movement points. Okay. Sixty percent. Oh, let's do the buff first. Die, heretic! <laughs> Yes. Cleanse and purge the heretic scum. Well done, boys. Well done. All right. Now, uh, let's throw that bad boy on, and then we'll also throw that on. Okay. Armor. So if I throw this on, what does it say? 15%? Um, reduce just reduces incoming damage. Okay. Six to nine. It's a regular primitive sword and a stub revolver. All right, sweet. Um, I cannot comply. I can't allow here, myself right? to do this. My faith is my shield. Where? Yeah, it goes down there. Oh, I can't. I can't. Okay, okay, okay. Cannot be equipped. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Heretics being alive. I know, Parasoftly. What? What? What is going on? Looks like heresy to me. Better fix that. I know, dude. You smell that? That smells like heresy. <clears throat> Cheers, mate. Oh, here. What? <clears throat> so let's level up. The emperor. How do we do that? Um. Before we do that, let's save. Okay. What does this do? Puritan Radical? Oh, that's so cool. I want to see what that does soon. Um, okay, choose skill. At this archetype ring, it's possible to increase the character skill. The higher the score, the use be to pass corresponding skill checks. Persuasion. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Um Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Uh we'll go to persuasion. See, it says my skill level is, is 35, but I can use my intelligence for it. I don't understand why... I don't understand what the fuck is going on here. Because it says, right, Forge World Home means I can...
Um... Or is that something I get later? Did I fuck up my character? I, oh my god, I fucked my character up, didn't I? I fucked my character up. I'm pretty sure I did. I'm pretty sure I fucked my character up. That I didn't read it correctly. Because it doesn't say anything about after origin advancement. This is what I want. I don't know what origin advancement means. It's this one, calculated relations. Finest hour. Um, there it is, calculated relations. So I misunderstood it, so I didn't fuck my character up. Okay, good. good. I could just have to get it later. All right, sweet, all right. So he is a voyeur. So we will give him athletics. Demolition, Medicaid. <laughs> Wolf, what's up, buddy? How you doing, baby? How you doing? Ambush hugs? I know, right? Love your face, man. Um, I guess we go with Corral. I actually don't know. Fuck it, let's just do athletics. Yeah, let's we'll do athletics. Um, bum, 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 that's it. So basically, it's level three is when I get was when I can choose the thing. Because basically, what I wanted to do is I, the main reason I I wanted to be from a forge world is because it said I could get. So many. So if I choose that, then oh man, that sucks, dude. It's because I didn't. I, and this is it's specifically why I didn't level up my um, my fellowship is because I want to. I want to be able to use my intelligence. There it is, calculated relations. And for some reason, I thought I would be able to... Man, that, that kind of sucks. Yeah, that does suck. Yep. After origin advancement, these are talents. I did not, like I said, I did not, I didn't, I didn't understand what it was saying to me. But it's okay, I guess. Ooh, I get the loot now. Collecting loot, defeating enemies, no further need for their former belongings, but you discover valuable trophies. Defeating enemy, inspect what's left. Uh, such items can be used to equip all your characters. Left packs of cargo sent to your ship. Let it be trophies. Okay. Is this, is this everybody? Dodge reduction 30. Interesting. Has less. It only has burst. What? Huh. Cool. The swords. Uh, do I have a maximum inventory space? All right. Um, alternate weaponry. 
which can be prepared in advance. Open your inventories. Oh, swapping weapons in combat does not cost an extra point. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, look. Look, I have a pistol and a sword equipped. That's so cool, isn't it? Okay, um, what we'll do is we'll put the last pistol here. Nice. With the sword there. Ah, oh, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Stubborn sword, last pistol and sword. It does less damage. But it only has... Rejoice in service. Huh. Cool. I will not be deterred. I actually hit reload. That's funny. All right. Bring it back to the stubber. Because it's got single shot. But that's, that's pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Yeah, we're definitely going to be going... Like this. Uh, what did it say? About sh hold shift to move freely? Oh, okay. Let's go. To the navigator sanctum! Here is the map of your void ships, consists of several parts between which you could travel. Some parts are not yet available, but over time your character will be able to access them. Excellent. Excellent. Onward, friends! The navigator sanctum is directly along the passageway. Oh, I pray to the god emperor that we are not too late. What is it? Hold shift to move freely. Okay. Why is there a space between that? Oh. Let the faith guide my path to glory. What up, Home Slizzle? So that means I won't and be able to get any work enter powers. The halls of the blinded guide and witness the radiance yep. of the final dawn through the uh, not on my first talent and point. fall victim to a whim of fate. Oh. What up, girl? Mistress, watch your head. Sidira, <laughs> would it be too much to ask that you phrase your soothsayings plainly for once? That was too close. <laughs> Sorry, old man. The voices are so loud, I can't even hear myself. They shriek, they sing, they... Oh, Abelard, how they sing! This is Idira Tlas, personal psyker and diviner of Her Ladyship Theodora von Falensis. Idira? <coughs> I'm not drunk, old man. I'm suffering the effects of the warp that is seeping through these walls. I see the ship's fate. To die in the waves of the immaterium, fall under the burning rays of the final dawn. And in the roaring blaze, I see a figure standing. Who is it? I have no answer. Do you see the blood running down the door? <laughs> How creepy is that shit, dude? The entity in your consciousness shrieks and crawls in deeper, its claws scrape against the walls of your mind, as if the presence is trying to hide from the seer standing before you. I'm a fucking psyker, bro. Why is this happening? I will not be deterred because my sense of humor is unaging as the Emperor's sons. The roger, roger. From beyond the threshold whisper well to done. me. Sometimes their murmurs are clear, they grant insight. Sometimes they drive me mad. But I am patient. I know how to listen <laughs> and discern. Oh, I but like now, her. With this clamor around me, too many voices, too loud. And you, you, Vaughn Valancius, are a sorcerer too. Just like the other one. <laughs> Lady Theodora must have grown so fond of Psychas she wants one to replace her. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Officer's frequency. To all who can hear me, those with a weapon in their hands are to gather on the officer's deck at once. I repeat, gather on the officer's deck at once and prepare to launch a counterattack. 
That's okay. Edel's rat. Oh, Emperor's providence. The other air lives as well. Quickly, we must head to... Not so fast, old man. If we drown in the warp, Lady Theodora's heirs won't be any good to us. If Edel strats like me and hasn't yet surrendered his mind or body to the mercy of the warp, then he can still hold on a little longer without us. Blast it! You're right. First, we need to deal with what is happening here. How do you know who I am? You think Lady Theodora didn't ask me to peek into the darkness behind the backs of those she sees as her prospective heirs? <laughs> but you didn't see the traitor, did you? Seen you. I have did seen you, witch? The steps of your past and the wounds of your heart. <sighs> Stigma. You flinched at the seer's words. No doubt she is referring to the nightmares. The torture is inflicted upon your body and mind. Your muscles contract involuntarily, as if stealing themselves once more for the inevitable pain. What are you doing here? <laughs> the whispers called me. The ones I, I really could make like out her. among all the screams and screeches. Those who are rocking this boat hit us where it hurt. They went after the navigator, our guide through the warp. Other whispers called me to the Engineerian, but it was too late. I heard the cry of our master Cog, and the silence that followed. Ruh -roh. What? You don't mean the engine say Prime is? You know, I do have to admit, the story so far has been pretty damn good. Dead, without a doubt. <laughs> and the voices wail, heralding countless nightmares, cackling at each soul among the hundreds that are now joining the warp. The shriek from the Navigator's sanctum was louder than the rest. <laughs> and it's better that we saved the Navigator than some lever puller from a pooling module or a cook from the middle decks. We must see if the oh, Navigator no. is well. No, 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 no. Nothing is well about him. Can't you feel the chill crawling on your skin? The eyes watching you? The warp ice has already encased the bulkheads. What follows is calamity. <laughs> but we're not just going to stand here and take it, are we? The state of things in here suggests there's a navigator around. Maybe one who's crippled or at death's door, but still kicking. And since our skin hasn't peeled off our faces just yet, his third eye must be closed. At worst, it's a little roughed up. So what are we moping around for? Let's go protect that noble mutant while we're still alive. I really, really, really like her. <laughs> Oh, that's good stuff, man. Okay, what kind of psyker is she? She's got analyze enemies, she's got psychic shriek, and she's got forewarning. Cool. Yes. She has strike. Wait, when do I get one of those? I want a staff that casts lightning. It's bullshit, man. Bullshit, I say. Is this where we're going? The divine watches over us. Okay. Let's go, boys. Let's go F5. What is this? Mm, looks like heresy. Yes. Cleanse and purge. Let's go, bitches. 
Heretic Psyker. Okay. Albedard. Let's get you there. Uh, Idra. We'll get you here. Hope. Get you here. Stop. Albedard goes first. I'm wondering if I should actually attack him or not. What does this do? Okay. It's Let's go, done. baby. Oh, that looked like that hurt. And then we're gonna go. Was what, we can? I, how long can I use this? Cool down one round. All right, let's just go. <laughs> and he parried it like a boss. And he parried it like a boss. <laughs> That's what you get, you psychic freak. All right. Hologram. You can use hologram to gauge the effectiveness of your intended actions before taking them. Click left mouse button on a set of cell in the battlefield and place the character's hologram there. Oh! Select an ability or a single shot. Oh, okay, cool. The hologram also lets you see if the enemy will be in your line of sight. If you, That's great. That's great. Okay. Um, Actions will speak louder than words. Boom. Okay. Everybody gets the thing. Everybody gets the thing. Um... Do we take shots at this guy? He gets to go next. Yeah, I can't hit multiple people. 60, 60, 27. I can only make one attack anyway, so I might as well. Rejoice in service. Oh, shit. Hello, that hurt. Did it hurt? I think it hurt. Um, I guess I can pop him with a voice of command. Reload the gun. Hold on. Ooh, got five damage on that. And a parry. Idra's abilities. Okay, Idra is a psyker and an operative. As an operative, she could study the opponent, identify weakness, uh, analyze enemies. Is an operative villain which applies ex exploit effect. All enemies within the operative's line of sight. The start of each operative's turns. The operative can also use the ability to gain specific enemies. Intelligence bonus. Okay. Psychic powers. That only Psyker versed in a certain discipline can use. For example, you might find a staff, Psyker Inferno. But to do so, you must first have Pyromancy Psychic Discipline learned. Okay, cool. Uh, call. Is it because he's behind cover? Not within line of sight. Oh. 